but they've had all sorts of uh, feuds. I've had trouble with him all along. Big, big trouble. To meet Paddy, you wouldn't think he had an enemy in the world. That's what makes it all so unusual, that anybody would want to harm him. <laughs> like last year, I took him to court over uh, poisoning the garden. Everything is still on the table. It's an unsolved homicide. Nothing's been ruled out at this stage. I first came through in 1978 when I was hitchhiking up here from uh, Brisbane to Darwin and uh, kept coming back. Here we are, Andrew. Here's your favourite drink. Well, thank you, friend. No worries, Doc. I try and get down here three times a year just to find out what's happening with the Civil War and who's on whose side. Oh. Is that too strong? That's great. Sure? Bingo. Yeah, well, I'll keep you on your toes. <laughs> I've been banned from the pub down there that many times, it's not funny. Why are you banned from the pub? Oh, well, I got blamed for doing something I never done. I got blamed for pinching Mar bars and I got sugar diabetes. Now, what the bloody hell would I want to pinch Mars bars for? So I got blamed for pinching stuff down there, so I thought, no, jam it. I, I, I don't want nothing to do with you, you're a pack of arseholes. So I just left it at that, you know. When I first came here, it was a very close-knit community. Everybody got along really well. But over time, it, uh, it drifted away from that for some reason or other. And uh, now we... Uh, well, we don't really associate like what we used to. What do you think is at the heart of the disagreements? A lot of things. A lot of things. and I don't really feel like saying a lot about it. I know why, but uh, I don't really want to say it. Paddy done a bit of shit stirring there and Fran got pissed off about it. But then again, Fran's a bit of a troublemaker too, don't worry about that. But um, uh, she's not a bad person in her, own, in her own right. But it's just little towns, they're all the same. It, if it's, oh, so-and-so done this, so-and-so done that. It's a factional, um, fascinating, environment, the changing of allegiances. Paddy didn't really have uh, any enemies. Only one he used to argue with was the lady in the pie shop. Who is his neighbour? Who's his neighbour, yeah. I stay here on my little four corners, on my little oasis. Here's the two pies for you, darling. I was the first one ever to make pies in the Territory. Buffalo, camel, pork. I mince my own meat here. I mince my own pork and chicken. Franz had her pies going for 20 years or so. Now, who, wants, who would like a pie? <laughs> now the pub are making pies and there's arguments as to who's got the recipe for the famous Larimer pies. 
And there are, you know, good assortment of pies and camel pies and buffalo pies and crocodile pies and everything but dog pies or magpies. Franz has got the worst pies and I fucking tell you that. The feuding is very colourful. All these petty but very important things in a tiny town in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there was shit over there. I used to, true, I used to go over there and, and the dog wouldn't eat me pie. Franz pies. Yeah. True word. And this has got chunky meat and everything like that here. Yeah. And I tell people, I'll tell them the truth. Bloody hell. When they could pull up at my place up at the road. Yeah. I tell them fair dinkum, yeah, and that's what happens. And Franz is the worst gas bagger in town. I've had trouble with him all along, big, big trouble. Like last year, I took him to court for uh, poisoning my garden. He threw an old dead kangaroo under my bedroom. I've had so many things, and it's all been reported to the police. They got it on record. He started stirring shit around town about what I was doing in the kitchen and how much I was selling my pies for and oh, I was this and it was that because he was very jealous, you see, very jealous of what I've got here and, and plus um, the pub, I'm opposition to the pub. Yeah, I knew he was doing that. I never really took it serious. It was more humorous than anything else. Uh, maybe we should have taken... Maybe we should have taken that a bit more serious. So I stopped him coming here, and that's when all this trouble started. He started pinching stuff, pinching umbrellas from here, and uh, damaging me property, and giving me cheek, and telling customers here not to come in, putting broken glass under under car wheels, you know, over the parking bay because he, he didn't he didn't want them parking over there and he'd, they'd pull up over there in front of his place and they'd he'd tell them not to come in here, that nothing was homemade. And I mean, I'm not rubbishing the man. I'm only telling you, it's all been reported to the police right through. The disagreements in Larimer, the feuds as they've been called by some, and the hatreds that exist there have formed part of your investigation. Are they still part of your inquiries or have you been able to rule them out? Everything is still on the table. It's an unsolved homicide. Um, nothing's been ruled out at this stage. You can go into any roadhouse anywhere and buy a pie. There's no claim to saying, oh, well, I sell pies, you can't sell pies. It'd be like saying, I sell soft drinks, so you can't sell soft drinks. You know, that's sort of a bit ridiculous. Paddy's never been over here and bought a pie. He's never had a pie here. He wouldn't know what my pies taste like. What do you know about the gardener who lives at the tea house? Do you have any...? Never met him. Now, I wouldn't even know what he looked like. Yeah. I saw him from the waist down once. I was sitting in a car. All I've heard stories about him, he used to be a tent boxer or something. Owen Laurie has never done an interview with anybody no, about everything. Won't. Why is that? I don't know, because that's the way he is. I, uh, he, he, I don't know. It's just him. You know, I, I, I can't make somebody do something that they don't want to do, you know, and that's his prerogative. I know that he never left here, and I know that he wouldn't hurt anybody like that. I know he's got a temper, but no, I don't know. I really don't know. The forensic mob went through my house. They found nothing. They pumped out my septic. They didn't find anything. They scraped out my incinerators. They didn't find anything. They poked holes in all the garden. They didn't find anything. The detective went in the shed and found a couple of hammers. 
and they, of course you find hammers in every shed, and he put the torch on the hacksaw and found blood on it. And of course he said to Owen, is this your? And Owen said yes, and they took it away. We knew it was, it was um, uh, turkey, uh, chicken meat. We always cut up our meat for our dogs, you know. We always keep our meat frozen, you know that in the Territory. But nothing has been found. It was all put through testing. Nothing was, everything was negative. Fran Hodgetts has taken down a sign from outside of Larimer which had taunted her and advertised Sweeney Todd's pies being sold at her tea house. What investigations did police make about whether or not, in fact, there was any truth to, to that kind of accusation? So we've searched the premises that you in question. We've forensically examined the, the location in question and there's no evidence to support that theory whatsoever. Did you actually do any tests on the meat pies? We've forensically examined the premises and there's nothing to support that theory whatsoever. I think he's been taken off somewhere, it's my opinion. Either that, well, it's a certain bad thing to say, but wild pigs, you know, wild pigs, dingoes. Like if somebody knew what they were doing when they got rid of him, they just feed him the pigs. Because pigs don't leave any evidence, so I believe. Crocodiles, but there's plenty of places to get rid of a body, isn't there? Among your responsibilities, you also help feed the animals out the back. Can you give me a sense of what that involves and what kind of animals you're dealing with out there? Uh, a lot of birds, uh, specialised birds, a couple of crocs out there. Uh, we've got some pythons, wallabies, emus, which are always fun. There is a crocodile at the back of the pub. What investigations or what efforts did you go to to try and establish whether there was any truth to that? So we've searched animal enclosures at the back of the um, pub. We've also inspected Sneaky Sam's enclosure and there was nothing there to warrant any drastic action to be taken in relation to that. I don't know where he is, I don't know who done it, I don't know if he's alive, I don't know if he's there out hiding, trying to get me into trouble, which entered my mind. I swear on my grandkids, on my life, that I don't pull through this cancer that I know nothing about. <laughs>